juicy goss. I'm scared, I'm scared. I know. Have you seen Molly since she's come out of Love Island? Pick on and take the mick out of. I don't know if I've ever said this online. YouTube could disappear tomorrow. Like Hello. <coughs> and welcome back. Hi, I'm Misha Grimes and today I felt like just doing a sit down casual video. I'm going to get ready. Today I am filming videos and then me and Kobe are going to the theatre tonight. So I just thought let's test out some makeup but also let's answer some questions. And I did say like any questions you have or questions that I've never answered. So I don't really know what to expect but I've got my phone here so I can check what you guys are asking over on Instagram um, and I've also got very dry lips. I don't really know what makeup look this is going to be, I don't know what I'm doing in terms of this makeup look, I just thought, you know, I've been kind of stuck in a rut using the same products so I thought it'd be a good idea to like film a video and force myself to use some new ones. I'm just going to use these little Picanita clips to get my hair out of my face because as mum always screams at me I always get my foundation in my hairline so let's do this so that I don't I mean I'm putting them in very peculiarly this isn't like a fashion statement right now this is more of a practical statement wow sexy wow Keisha Becky I don't know why it reminded me of that but I felt like it sounded like that okay let's get up some questions and then we can start moisturising and priming and everything like that. Also, side note, literally after I posted this story, I then was scrolling down my YouTube subscription box and I saw that Sidnell had literally done a video of answering questions we never answered. So, it's actually coincidental, but, you know, it's fine. It's all good. I'm actually going to use this moisturizer which i used to use all the time this is the glam glow volcasmic matte glow moisturizer and it's like a balm almost and you like whittle it down and then uh, it, honestly i don't know why i've stopped using it because it's so lovely and it smells so good i think i probably stopped using it because i'm getting near the end of it and like you know when you're getting near the end of a product you just kind of stop using it so you don't run out but then that kind of defeats the object so I'm just, I have applied a lot of it, I'm not going to lie. I might have been a little bit too excessive. Let's start with a juicy one that I've actually already answered, but I feel like it was so long ago that you guys won't remember, or you may not have been subscribed to me then. But it's when did you lose your virginity? There's a lot of questions on virginity, actually. And I have answered this in videos, like you guys know me. Someone even replied to the answering questions I haven't answered, like, is there actually anything to answer? Because... I'm just an open book, that's just how I am, that's how I've always been. Um, but I was 16, yeah? I don't know why I'm asking you guys as though you're gonna confirm that. I was 16 years old and it was with my ex-boyfriend who I'd been with like a couple months. I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, it was my ex-boyfriend, nothing very interesting. I really don't have very many interesting stories when it comes to that sort of thing. I'm really sorry, I'm quite boring and standard when it comes to sex. Soz guys, I don't have any juicy goss. How do I deal with hate? Okay, let's also move on to the next step. That's like a moisturiser and a primer, but I feel like YOLO, I might as well use another primer. Um, what I might do is mix the Revolution baking oil with my iconic drops. Now, I literally have not used these drops in years um but i'm just gonna pipette some of this oil onto my face just to make sure that the um illuminator like has something to like mix with because although it's not thick it's still like thicker so i'm just gonna bob this all around my face so how i deal with hate now a lot of people actually ask me this i think it's really good that since like the jesse um is her name jesse nelson i'm pretty sure it is um little mix documentary i'm also going to use this sponge this is actually the brand new ex1 cosmetics sponge i haven't tried it before but let's give it a whirl is that literally just picking up all the product 
we'll go with but no i think um a lot more people ask those sort of questions nowadays because it's been highlighted what people who are online face um on the daily now i am very lucky and obviously i am a much much smaller scale that i don't face that sort of thing every day and i have been very lucky to not get a lot of hate which this sounds silly but i'm surprised that i haven't because growing up at school i was always the person that was really easy to hate on like i was always the one that was like it was easy to like pick on and take the mick out of so i'm surprised that i don't get as much hate i don't get more hate than i do which i shouldn't be like there shouldn't be a thing should it but I am. I'm just gonna go over there because I have some new products over there. Honestly, such a miserable day in terms of the weather. So depressing. I definitely think the whole like weather changing and like your mood decreasing is definitely a thing. But back to the hate. So yeah, when at school, I was always one that was easy to pick on. So I am surprised. But I do also think it's because I do the whole like take the mick out of myself so then no one else can really do it. But of course I still do get comments. But I actually right now could tell you that there's probably one hate comment that i can remember because i found it so funny and that was because my head looked like a walnut apparently i'm not seeing walnut i don't know about you maybe with that little tuft of hair but yeah so obviously i've seen all the hate comments but i literally promise to you that i cannot remember them but i could tell you so many more of the positive ones because that is what I focus on. Let's try this. This is the Full Coverage Rimmel Lasting Matte Foundation in shade 203 True Beige. I don't know if this is too light. I don't think so. Of course we really shouldn't have to face that at all. And I know some people will say it's part of like what you get with going online, like Love Island, they should expect it. But also if you think about Love Island, these people, obviously they know that you come out and you get some Instagram followers, but also if they were working a normal nine to five before where literally no one commented on their life. I think that's a bit pale. I'll put this on and then I'll put something on darker as well. It's actually a really nice foundation though. Very like matte. So I'm glad I put the other stuff underneath. Um, but imagine, they have gone from absolutely no one commenting on their lives, they go into a TV show for eight weeks, and they've come out and they have got millions of people telling them what they're doing wrong, how they look wrong, what's wrong with this, what's wrong with that. And like, they, they didn't ask for that. No one asks for that. It's a really bad... Um, reason for trolling when people use the excuse of well they're online so what do they expect so i don't understand myself how people have the energy like how do people have the energy i don't get it i, d I don't get it but i do think it's got to be a certain sort of person who's very unhappy oh my god actually like a ghost um within themselves to comment that and that's just what i always remember like i know my strengths i know my flaws and that's all i need to know i don't need to know what anybody else thinks of my strengths and my flaws because as long as i know them and i can work with them and i can work on my flaws then that's fine i'm gonna also mix in a little bit of l'oreal true match i've started using this recently and i am obsessed with it i just need something to make me look a little bit less pasty the sponge I'm actually enjoying, but it definitely does pick up quite a bit of the product, but it also is giving it a really nice finish. My brain is so all over the place. I'm very sorry if this video is so scatty, because like, I'm A, trying to like talk about what makeup I'm doing, but I'm also trying to answer like a deep question about hate. Um, but yes, if you haven't watched the Jessie Nelson documentary, I would highly recommend doing so. Um, I agree with people's comments that it should be... Uh, played all around schools because a lot of hate like i'll get i don't know if i've ever said this online i don't know if i should say this but i will anyway so i will get a young girl message me saying oh my god you're so ugly and vile so then i reply like oh thank you just i don't reply to every single hate comment but if i randomly see one I'll be like, oh, thank you. So they've Instagram messaged me and it pops up and I'm like, oh, it's right there. I might as well just say, 
something to make them think about what they said. So I say, oh, thank you. And then they reply like, oh my God, yay, you reply, I actually love you so much, thank you. Now that I think is so sad that people or the younger generation, I don't know, um, I don't want to be like stereotypical and obviously I am again the younger generation but even younger than me think that the only way you're going to get a response from someone who's in social media is by being horrible to them like that makes me so sad not because they've said those things but that they think that is the way to get in contact with people that's horrible um, I'm going to move to Consula this is the Lasting Matte by Rimmel in shade true beige so yeah i just think you've got to be a certain person to be able to cope with the hate but you also got to be a certain person to put that hate so hopefully in time as it gets more publicity in terms of all this hate on the internet that there will be new rules and there will be less of it and over time people won't be that person and people won't have to deal with that sort of person um but all i can say is you want to leave a positive mark on this world so do exactly that simple as speaking of love island there are so many questions about molly have you seen molly since she's come out of love island do you still speak to molly what's happened with molly where's molly <laughs> so i literally saw molly last week this week on tuesday um but personally i'm not about to start posting about it all over online she is obviously at a time in her life where a lot has changed and um, there's a lot more eyes on her and um, there's a lot more, how do I word this? Basically, I don't ever want to be someone who is just there to gain off of someone at all. Hence why I don't post about being with Mole, I don't post of her like it's just not me i am not the kind of person that wants to benefit off somebody else's fame i want to be there for more because this is a crazy new life that she's leading and it's so exciting and i want to be there for her as a good friend but i don't want to be the person that's posting it all over social media and seem like i'm just doing it for the wrong reasons and it's sad that in this day and age that's how it comes across but that is how it comes across um especially people that don't necessarily post about them beforehand and then they start posting after it just seems dodgy and i get that um and i would never want molly to think that's why i'm spending time with her so i personally just decide and choose not to post about it online um and now you might be like well why are you answering this question then well it's because a lot of you guys are confused and are like why is she not on any of your social medias and it's just because she's got so much going on in her life. She doesn't need me being like, oh, Mo, can I just get an Instagram story? Oh, can I do the... Like, I would rather when I see her be able to spend quality time together where you can actually talk and discuss everything that's going on rather than be focusing on trying to get reposted on her Instagram story so I can get a few followers. Like, that's not me at all. Um, and I hope Mo knows that, and I'm sure she does. So... Yeah, my aim is to be a good friend, not to grow because of her success. Because she's the one that went into a blooming house for eight weeks of her life and deals with all this on the daily. Okay, powder. I'm going to go to the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I can't honestly remember if I liked this or I disliked this. So let's find out. Um, it's quite a light powder. I'm just going to pop this under my eye and then I'm just going to blend it straight through. Same on this side, blend it straight through. I think this sponge, if you were trying to do quite precise work, it wouldn't do it because it is very, very spongy. So it kind of spreads things out a lot. I'm just also going to powder my eyelids. Whoop -de -whoop. Honestly, how do people cover spots? I don't know how to do it. Like, I don't have a concealer that's the shade of my skin, so... I have these from MAC, these, like, little palettes I used to use all the time. 
maybe one of these shades will be close enough let's try no i'm just accentuating it honestly again i'm boring what's a worse sexual experience like i don't really have one i'm boring sorry guys i know i'm a disappointment people have asked when do i think i'm gonna stop youtube now i am very aware that like i won't necessarily be able to do youtube for the rest of my life um as a job hi i'm using this this is the butter bronzer by physicians formula but i also think i will always upload on youtube although youtube may not always be able to be my financial stability like job wise um i want to always upload so make sure you hold me that's make sure you hold that to me guys hold me to that wait what um and i do think i will not only because i love seeing what you guys have to say and interacting with you guys and producing videos and everything like that but also because i love the memories like me and chloe were laughing about how we already have three years of ibiza vlogs so imagine in like five years we can go back and watch all of them back and like see our first ever ibiza vlog in comparison to the most recent one so yeah that is also why i do these videos especially vlogs like it's just gonna be so mental to look back at my life and like i can sit there with my little children and blah blah blah, blah. and i know that a lot of people are very what's the word a lot of social media people don't think that you should put your children online and a lot of people do i'm gonna use this blusher it's from tarte and it's called party um personally i would put my child online and i don't know if that's controversial because they say well your child doesn't have a choice um and i get that like i do get that and i get all the reasons why people don't put their children online but I would like there's no I, there's no real reason why I would I just would like I'd, I'd want to so that I can look back at the videos and have all the memories and things like that and I know people are pretty like well you can just record the videos and not upload them but like this is my world YouTube is my world if my child grew up and decided they didn't want to be on YouTube I look absolutely crazy right now um that is totally fine I would never force them when they're of an age where they understand what it is and they don't want to be in videos that's fine they don't have to be in videos at all um it's a bit like what i was saying in the pageant video that i'm not gonna blame in encourage or force or anything my child to do a pageant just like i'm not gonna encourage or force them to do youtube when they are with me they will be in content but who knows maybe i wouldn't even be doing it but i'm sure i will like i can't see myself not doing youtube like i literally just can't see it um it's taken up such a huge part of my life thus far i can't see myself ever like dropping that and not doing it later i'm going to use the kiko ocean feel in 01 golden so yeah as long as i took safe precautions with my child being online i would do it um but if that's not something that you agree with then that's totally fine i understand why not this is my thing with a lot of things in life i i understand it from both arguments um but you do you as long as you are safe and sensible that's all that matters i can't actually remember what the beginning of the question oh would i ever stop doing youtube <laughs> now i'm hoping that you guys will always be watching um i understand if you weren't always be watching because you might lose interest with me that's fine i get that let's do something a bit different let's go in with some cabrow wow i'm a bit scared i'm not gonna lie let's do this i have not painted on my eyebrows in years i was gonna say if i can open it that is oh it's a brand new pot how exciting hoping this isn't gonna be too dark I'm hoping that as I grow up and I get married and I have babies and I have birthdays and everything like that, you guys are going to be doing the exact same thing. So you will always like be going through similar things in life. So then you'll want to watch. Um, but I, I just don't know, do I? Um, that's the thing with YouTube. It's the complete unknown. And that used to stress me out. But now... 
I've just realised like that's kind of life. Just like you could lose your job tomorrow, YouTube could disappear tomorrow. Like we all, we all face some sort of unknown in our lives and that just kind of makes it a little bit more exciting. So I'm going with it. I'm loving it whilst I can do it. And I don't know, I think everyone kind of went for a stage where they were like, YouTube's gonna die soon, like blah, 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 blah. But now I think about all these different brands that are investing so much into social media and YouTube and Instagram that it must not be on the way out just yet. I mean, yeah, maybe one day it will, but we just don't know, do we? We're just gonna have to wait and see. And I'm one of those people waiting to see, but I'm loving it now. It's what I spend 24 hours doing now, <laughs> probably more than 24 hours. <laughs> um, and yeah, of course I get my moments where I get a bit stuck in the rut and I can't think of video ideas and things like that, but that does normally pass and then I get straight back into it. Um, but it's just like if you were a writer or if you were a fashion designer or if you worked in an office, like, you get your moments where you just get a little bit, like, stuck in your ways or you get a little bit uninspired and that's just life, so. Yeah, I normally just try and, when that happens, regroup and figure out what I want to do on my channel, what I want to share and where I want to go with it. It's looking quite nice. I literally have not done this in so long. I think it's because I'm lazy when it comes to my eyebrows that I never normally do anything with them. I literally normally just put brow gel. But apparently today is a special day because I'm actually doing my eyebrows. Oh my God, also you guys are gonna cry. So have you seen, or if you've seen Millie T's um, 19th birthday vlog video, they say in an Airbnb in London. Um, now, if you've seen that, this story will make sense. If you haven't seen that, watch that after this. I mean, or you can skip out and go to watch her video now, but I would like to keep you. So, in her video, they went and stayed in an Airbnb in London. Now, I am looking for um, a Airbnb in London for me and a few of the girls to stay overnight in. Um, and... I was scrolling through Airbnb and I scrolled across a really nice looking apartment in like Pimlico in London. Um, I'm just going to use the 24 hour setup by Benefit. I feel like I might as well completely do a Benefit look um, on the brows. And I'm like, oh my god, this is so nice. And then I'm scrolling through the photos and I'm like, oh my god, I recognise that place. That was the place in Millie T's video where it literally was a catfish apartment. And it looked absolutely nothing like the pictures on Airbnb. So, thank goodness I watched that video or I would have booked it. It was still a nice place in her video. It was just not um, what it looked like in the pictures. So, thanks Millie T for in making sure I didn't book that Airbnb. Not that it was personal to me, but it was helpful. Thank you. Someone said, did your wish come true that you wish for on your 18th birthday blowing out your candles? I honestly can't remember what I wished for, but that's such a good question. Oh, someone's asked how mummy and dad, mama, mama Grimes and Papa Grimes met. Have I never spoken about this on YouTube? Maybe I haven't. Um, also, I'm gonna try and do a winged liner. I know, what the hell? But I'm gonna try, okay. I don't know which liner to use. Let's try and find it. Oh my god, wait, I know. The quick flick eyeliner. So I'm gonna try this out because I've been wanting to do this for ages, but just for some reason haven't. Now, are these, oh my god, there's a left eye and a right eye. I was like, are these two different sizes? So what do I do? I'll come back to the mum and dad question in a second, don't you worry. Is there no images? I could really do with images. Let me zoom you guys in because I feel like this is going to be really, really, really interesting. Also, if you don't like my huge bushy brows, that's fine, but I'm vibing them. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. It's not like completely filled in, but... It'll do. 
Then I'm assuming I grab the other end. Oh, it's quite fat. And then I need to... I'm just not breathing right now, by the way. Let's start from in here. I just don't feel like that's a very good wing. I don't know. I feel like, I wish I could do like the long eyeliner. Let's fill in the little. Okay, I just made it a little bit like thicker and longer. I don't think the angles of my wings are going to be at all similar. Thoughts, opinions. I really don't even know if I suit winged eyeliner, but we're trying it out. Now, I'm also going to do something that I never do, which is curl my eyelashes. Now, let's all pray for me that I don't, like, rip them out. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to bother doing any eyeshadow. I feel like this is going to be enough because I've got all this liner. I feel like eyeshadow will be too much. So, let's grab... These are the Sport FX eyelash curlers um let's try and open them so mum and dad met when mum was mum and dad were both 30 wow these are industrial um and okay i think that's made a slight difference um when mum was 30 and dad was 30 they met in a nightclub so kind of similar to mine and kobe's story which is quite funny Actually, a lot more of this story is similar. So, the next bit isn't similar, but mum was out with her best friend, Sue, and dad was out with his best friend, Gary. Mum had a boyfriend at the time. Ooh, naughty. Um, but... Are you talking about me in vain? Something a bit different. I know. What? I know, you don't like it, do you? Well, I don't know. Let me have a closer look. I feel like I need to do the rest of my makeup because currently it just looks like I've got black I've slugs I've on my eyeballs. I've got to say, you've done it really, really well. Oh, it was a me. really good shape. Um, I had a stencil. Ah, okay, that makes all the difference. Are they in fashion? I don't know. I feel like eyeliner never goes in fashion or out of fashion. Yeah. I just never use it. Okay, let's Anyway, I'm stuff. going. I have this new Lash Topia mascara from Bare Minerals. I'm going to try that out can you close my door oh i like this brush it's a natural hair fiber brush okay so let's hope that this makes the eyeliner look more human but back to the story mom had a boyfriend at the time but turns out her boyfriend at the time had about 70 other girlfriends um because he worked on a boat and every single dock port he had a different girl but that's not really part of the story so Mum's best friend fancied dad's best friend, so mum was a good wing woman and said, Oh, excuse me, mum is interrupting. I need a vote. I think on your head it looks nice. Okay, Misha, do you think a 57 year old woman can wear a headband and look cute in it? Yeah. No, I'm not sure. I like it. Anyway, what story are you telling? Mum and dad, mum and dad? When mum and dad met. Okay, this mascara is on. It's lovely, but it's only made them longer. Like, it's made them really long, but it hasn't made them full. So I'm going to go to another mascara. I'm going to go back to an oldie but a goodie, the Marc Jacobs one. Now, if mum would stop interrupting me, I'd finish the story of how they met. Um, mum's friend was like, oh, I'll go. No, mum's friend fancied the fit one. Mum was like, oh, I'll go for the not so fit one um and this just proves that you should not judge a book by its cover because mum ended up marrying the not so fit one and sue did not end up marrying the fit one so yeah so look at my eyelashes wow okay this is a thick lash look this is such very on me makeup it feels very peculiar now Bottom lash line, I don't know what to do. I'm thinking of just leaving it bare and using this mascara, um, which is what I start with. I don't know whether I should do some eyeshadow down there, but again, I probably 
got enough going on. Okay, I'm gonna go back into that highlight and highlight my brow bone because it definitely needs something. So that will help. And then I will also grab a little brush and I'm gonna do my inner corner because I feel like that will bring out my eyes as well. Oh, that's made a lovely inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna go back into that sponge and just press down on my forehead a little bit because I am getting a little bit wrinkly. I'm not like complaining, I'm just saying, because I'm so expressionate. Okay, let's zoom you guys back out. That's in. I don't know how to feel about this eyeliner. It's such a weird look for me. Let's grab a brown pencil to fill in my moles. I'm tempted at this point to make this one of my chin a blooming mole because it just looks so <laughs> obvious. You can't see it on the camera, but in person it just me. It's like, hi, here's my spot. Misha's tried to cover me, but she didn't do a very good job. Okay, now I'm like thinking and looking at myself. I look very unfinished. That's because I haven't done my lippy. Lippy wise, we're going to go for the Huda Beauty El Cinco de Mayo, which is this beautiful red. And then... A very classic and thinking that if I'm doing a winged liner, I'm going to do a red lipstick with it. Um, okay, yeah. I should probably do this in a mirror because otherwise this lipstick's going to end up very skew with. Okay, so this is how the makeup is looking. I feel like I need some like old school Hollywood waves because I do think with the moles, with the red lip, with the liner, I look very old school Hollywood glamour and I'm kind of vibing it. Hi, so... To just add in a little bit at the end here, I decided to curl my hair. I'm literally just going to take out the front pin in my fringe to finish off this look if that curl was going in the right direction. So, after doing like the whole old Hollywood style makeup, piece of fringe, I decided to do the matching hair. So... This is the look. To create the curls, I use, this is the Beauty Cutie Fern McCann Curler, and I use the big fat head of it. Um, and yeah, this is the final look. I thought, you know, might as well go big or go home with like the old school Hollywood vibe. So, I hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, these were so easy. I literally just held it and rolled it. And if you want a hair tutorial on this, then let me know down below. But love you guys, make sure to like and subscribe and I hope you have all enjoyed. Bye now.